how to perform ajax live search in a flask key you're welcome this is your lesson of today okay guys how are you doing i hope you're doing well i'm moses from lani python you're welcome so in this session you will have two main parts part number one is front end and the part number two is back end actually i'll start it to show you how to create front end and in front end i'll show you how to link bootstrap and jquel in flask then after we'll implement ajax line number 10 shows how to link bootstrap as a static file in flask and the line number 11 shows how to link jquel as a static file in flask but you can also link bootstrap and jquel directly from online by using online direct links okay so here we start by implementing ajax so on line number 13 i write a script tag so as i can start to code ajax i'm going to create one function which is javascript function called the live search okay so this function takes a quail user quail so it takes a one parameter it takes a value okay then after let us remove white space from user quail by using trim function okay after that let's make sure that user does not make a request with empty string so here we go the first thing is to specify the URL, which is backend path or backend view to process the front end Ajax request. So don't ask a lot of questions like what is the search? You will see how to build the search in backend session. So the next thing is to specify the data. Which is stored in object. Okay, and the data to be searched is a value accepted as parameter in live search function. data type is json then after let's create a success function what do we want once the request is successful process the and the backend has returned the lizard So the first thing we make sure that we receive the lizard from backend which is data then after the next thing is to loop to perform loop that is for loop to accept the backend 
lizard and show them on front end. So don't ask it too many questions why data dot lizards. I use data dot lizards because the backend will return data in object which is called the lizards. Okay, that is then. So here, what we we we, we have done in for loop is to loop over the lizard and store and store them in variable called the race. So let's take the lizard and display them on a browser. So this is how to display them on lizard. So this is normal CSS selector in jQL and JavaScript. So this is if, okay. This is if, what else? Okay. Okay, else control S to save the changes. So actually this is implementation of front end. What I can do here in the form, so this is our form. And here I'll use on key method, on key app, then live search, which is the name of our function, then this dot value. Okay, so actually this is our end of front end. Let's go and implement the back end. So here we go. I hope you know the basics of Python Flask because I've been teaching a lot on my channel. So you can browse on my channel and find more Flask tutorials. So here is back end part. In short, we don't have database. Okay. So I just use Python list. So this is a test list on line number nine which contains names of different artists, okay? But this can be applied also if you are using database. So what you will need is to quell the name of artist from backend, okay? So that is, if you are doing in Flask, I mean, you will need to construct SQL quell to fetch the data. But if you're coding in Django, I hope this is something very simple. You can do something like this. Okay. Um, 
you can write the name of model okay maybe i can say artist dot object dot all to select all artist from database so that's it i've just tried to use python list to make the concept easy so in short so this is our flask key few source codes okay and here i can show you on the browser as you can see if i type here nothing happened you can see uh search url not found okay because we don't have this so let's go and implement it okay so here i'm going to create uh python in flask view to process the front end request so i can say app dot load okay let me specify the root for this python uh, for this python function or python view okay if you're familiar with django okay so here i can say search okay let me just say pass Control s to save the changes let me try out to refresh the browser so once i do something like this oh there is internal server error no worry so let's scale on so here what we'll need to do is to receive search text now i'm going to show you the link between the front end and the back end what is connectivity between the two okay so here as you can see in the front end we submitted a request in search text i mean you can see here data search text as object i mean value or user query will be stored in search text so when we back when we go in back end we take this as user query that's why here you can see what i can write here i can say request dot args then search text okay and here i can show you mm, let me try out to print the text anyway okay so here my backend is running is running so once i try to do something let me refresh the browser oh the front the backend part is very enjoyable okay let me show you um uh, type error anyway let me skip this so what i'm going to do here i'm going to do list comprehension so if this is you are an unfamiliar concept you can also browse on my channel how you can perform a simple better and a very handful method to loop over python list is called the list comprehension okay i hope you'll check the tutorial on how to do list comprehension on my channel so here is what i'm going to do here you can say result i can say for c in artist list if str okay then e dot lower okay if c dot e lower so actually this is how you can do list comprehension so c for c in the artist list if str so what i'm going to do here i can t i can tell you I, I, I what i what i'm going to do here 
you can see I take the lizard okay I take the quail submitted by user change it in lower case then I take all I process or I loop all item in a list then convert them into lower then after I check in if the quail is contained in our python list if it is contained then I'll return json dot dumps okay I'll return it in okay in javascript list in Java, javascript object then lizard You, prob you, you probably had some question why do we use lizards in the front end so actually this is um you can say in the python this is a, a dictionary okay which store the result which is this one then dump in or send in the front end so when we come in the front end so we need to do data dot results okay because that is the method to assess the lizard returned from the back end so let me come here let me try out to refresh what if i do something like this oh wow you can see now we can we can actually implement um flasky ajax live search actual no brainer this is an end of our today's session i hope this is enjoyable session for you but i would like to know your experience and uh, don't hesitate to put comment below what is your experience when doing live search in ajax do you use the flasky okay as i'm teaching here do you use the django and uh, what is your experience as you can see here i've just tried it to search from python list but uh, i would really recommend you try to create database okay learn a migration if you create a database in flask or you'll create a database in the Django, then uh, what you need to do is to perform live search from database and uh, not from python list and uh, if no if if possible try out even to create the link so once i click here like him okay so i should be able to click on drake and view drake's song or drake's profile drake's information so that is my an assignment for you so you once you do that those assignment don't hesitate to put comment where are you stacking how it went so that is my assignment never escape my assignment and i hope if you do that assignment will be a very good person on the earth i can say thank you don't forget to like put comment share subscribe this is an end of session i hope to see you in the next session